So what we're going to do is go through and show you a couple of uh, comparisons of the same exact files. What you're looking at here is the exact same MP4 file just opened up in different applications. Over here on the right is Windows Media Player. And over here on the left is the Windows Movie Player. All right. So exact same file. Notice, though, the, the quality of the image. So it's just really interesting that it's the exact same file, but depending on what application you use to open it up will determine what it looks like. So obviously here it's nice and crisp and clean. You've got, you know, you can see the bar. You can see the handle. You know, nothing's washed out. You can see uh, over here the... Um, the details of the cabinet. Um, you can read the stickers. Where over here on the left, everything's washed out. You can't even see the the jump or the pump here. Um, the bar is all washed out. I mean, it's just it's an awful image quality. Yet it's the exact same file. And what we did is we started out with an, an uh, MOV file, which is your your standard file that uh, Apple creates for smaller uh, video files when you create a video. Uh, longer files, I believe Apple automatically converts it, to, converts it to an MP4, but this was a shorter clip. And because of that, it was converted to MOV. So what we're running into is when... When I pull, when I convert this MOV file to an MP4, which is what this is now, this is an MP4 file. When I convert it to an MP4 using either VLC player or another method of converting it to uh, an MP4 is uh, Handbrake. And then I go and I pull that file into Camtasia to work with it. it what you see on the left is what comes up in Camtasia, all right? So, that's that's just not what I want. I need I need a file that's going to look good in Camtasia. And the way to do that is to convert the file from MOV to MP4, not with the VLC media player and not with Handbrake, but with DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is a free program. They do have a paid version, but the free pro, uh, free version is extremely powerful. It's like going to a brain surgeon to have a sliver <laughs> taken out. It's kind of what I feel like I'm doing here with DaVinci Resolve to do this particular project, but it's what works. And so um, if I show you here, let's pull over another file that I did create in DaVinci. Uh, we got this file right here is uh, the exact same MO, MOV file that was converted using DaVinci. So I'm gonna open it up and it's gonna open up here in Windows uh, Movie Player. I and can tell. this one is actually the ST290. <laughs> notice, notice the difference even on this one. Uh, even this is a little bit better than, than this one over here on the Windows Media Player side on the right. So this on the left was converted with DaVinci. And as you can tell, the quality of that, let's open it up in Windows Media Player. That'll show up on the right. I'm going to do a open with and get that out of the way. And this one oh. is actually the ST2. Let me minim or, um, stop that and then I'm going to right click on, I'm on my other window here and open with and then this is going to be Windows Media Player. And this one is Let's actually the ST29. And it automatically opens up nice and big, which I didn't want to do, but that's okay. So now we re resize it. All right, so uh, when, uh, Windows Media Player looks great. Windows Movie looks great. If I pull this into uh, Camtasia, it's also going to look great. And the way to do that, again, is you want to use DaVinci Resolve. Uh, that's the application to convert your MOV files into MP4 files, okay? You can use Handbrake, um, but the video quality is not, for whatever reason, was not working on this. And, and maybe it'll come out on other MOV files okay when it converts to MP4. Uh, but what I was running into, that was not the case. And so I was having to use DaVinci Resolve. So here's how we do this in DaVinci Resolve. First, you want to open it up and just going to do a real quick walkthrough on how to convert an MOV file into an MP4. So we're going to click on New Project over here. I'm going to X out of these, both of these. We don't need to look at those. We're going to open up, uh, we're going to do a new project. We'll call it RV Mama 4. This is the um, project I'm working on. This is for Christine. 
and we'll do create. It's going to open up DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm going to open up uh, the edit feature right here. We're going to click on edit at the very bottom. Now right in here where it says no clips in media pool, I'm going to drag over the MP4 or the MOV file. This is the MOV file right here. Change project frame rate. That's fine. It'll do it automatically for me. All right, so it's now in the media files. This is the original MOV file that came off the iPhone. We're going to drag this down to our timeline. We're going to drag it all the way over there to where it starts. There's the start. And that's all we're going to do with this file. Now we want to convert it. So now once it's on the timeline and we've done whatever we want to do as far as editing, um, in my case, I'm only using this to convert it to an MP4 file. I'm going to go over this deliver option at the very bottom right hand corner. So we've got edit, fusion, color, fair light, and then deliver. We're going to click on deliver. All right. Now over here, uh, this quick time format, that's that MOV format. We want to change that to MP4. It's changed location. That's fine. File name. Again, RV mama uh, 4-4.3 location i don't think it matters but we'll go ahead and click on that uh, that's fine it's just gonna go to my videos file and there we go now what we're gonna do is right here we're gonna add it to the render queue this is the output or the export feature so we're gonna output the video or export it to mp4 there it is right there and here render all if we had multiple videos uh, that's why it's got render all we only have one though so we're going to go ahead and we're just gonna click on render all um, this is going to take about uh, 2.3 uh, minutes two and a half minutes uh, two minutes we're watching it count down here one minute 51 seconds so this is going to convert it to an mp4 file and so after that's done we can now take that mp4 file and edit it in camtasia or whatever other video editor you're using uh, as again again as a general rule the majority of video editors out there won't work with the .mov file at least the ones that i've ran into um, and so that's why we're having to do this whole conversion uh step to get it into an mp4 format so once that's done we're good to go and you'll find again just like i showed you at the beginning or towards the beginning of this video uh, that the quality is much much better than if you were going to try and use the vlc media player to do this or a uh, handbrake uh, but that's how you convert a file from mov format to mp4 format using uh, davinci resolve